Welcome back to another video of Smith's Fishing Outdoors, and today we're going to do the same thing we did last month, except this is October, some of our October favorites. Let's get a look at some of these baits. We have everything from musky innovations to trilogies to glide baits to topwaters. We have everything. These are just some of our favorites. Now we're going to get into talking to these baits. So we're going to start from this end and go all the way to the topwater. So I think we're going to start with the dying dog because it's really nice. And I mean, I like to use these dying dogs because they have a really slow fall and they hop like this and they just slow fall. That tail kicks back up like that. They'll almost hang right in place. Exactly. They just yeah. sit there when they're floating up. The fish crush them right on that pause. Yep. Great bait for the fall, especially when you're getting into the 40 degree water temp. Yep. Because you gotta remember, October is gonna start at start at low 60s and end in and end in the yeah. 40s. So. Yep. Mhm. Mm and we'll get into some some suics here. Mhm. Mm it's a 10-inch weighted suic. We got another 10-inch weighted suic here, and I like these because they have a really good hang. Everything we're gonna be talking about pretty much has a really long hang, because October the water temp's cooling down. You know. The fish aren't going to be moving as fast um, as they would. How many fish have you caught in October in the last three feet of your cast? A lot. A lot. I mean, just this morning. Just this morning. You <laughs> caught one You caught one on this flap tail this morning. Never yes. <laughs> never saw the fish. Came into the altar and boom. Fisher, what Guys, just happened? Your so first cast with brand this. Brand new flap tail. This five got inch, from Big Guy. Five inch baits. Babe Campbell's big guy bait, and I'm not kidding you. Really? I, he comes into the L turn. I flipped it's the It's raining, cast. so we don't have our other cameras going. Yep. And and I, and I said, Fisher, how does that one sound? Whoa, he freaking eats it on the first cast. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I'm the L turn. I literally pitched up to shore, and I'm like, oh, this this thing doesn't sound too bad. I did the L turn, boom. <laughs> yep. And it's October first. It's October first. Or second, actually second. Yep. Mm -hmm. So let's get into Frank and Suic. I mean, I really like the Frank and Suic. It's oh, just got so much hang. It's got great wobble too. When you want it to hang in that corner. Yeah. This thing, boom, and just sits there. Slowly rises up. This is a great color too. As you can see, you can take out the screws, the weights on the bottom. It's worth every dollar. I yes. mean, we've. I mean, they're a little expensive, but they are. They really, really work nice. <laughs> Maybe we'll show a few casts of that one. Yep. And I mean, getting to the last suic we got here. I like to use this suic for pitching, stumps. dying weeds, stumps, stumps. Yep. and when you only need to go a couple feet down. Yep. Yep. This is a weighted suic, wooden. Sometimes I like to use the plastic ones too, but mm -hmm. okay, let's get into middle baits, huh? Middle baits. Here we have shallow invaders. Couple have, of your couple of your favorite colors. I have some experience with these two colors. I've caught a few on this. The action, just twitch, twitch. They'll pause. turn. They'll like turn sideways. Yeah, they go like this, boom, boom, and then they slowly rise up. Yep. And, I, and also, I've had one eat like. 10 feet from the boat on this exact one on a pause too. These baits are just nice baits. They're good for October. And then, you know, all these baits too are really good at like drawing fish into suckers too. Yeah. Yep. Now we're going to do some bigger minnow baits. I think you've had some experience with this one. 10 inch slammer. That yep. one looks really nice. It's got the square lip on it. It's got a lot of thump, but you just you know, again, just like the other uh, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, and um, this one might wear out your shoulder a little more, but no, it doesn't. It actually is pretty easy. Really? So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Some of the other baits that we like to work. Um, beavers. beavers. Beavers are gonna. That's that's gonna give you a fall like a, oh, like a. Um, bulldog. Bulldog, or, or exactly. And they uh, got more head weight. Yep. They fall like head first, but then. These late these slow. October fish really like that. They like that straight drop. And they that just... tail waggles when it's mm -hmm. going down. Mm -hmm. 
And sometimes you get them warm days, especially you get that warm day that, uh, you know, you get a 50, 60 degree days, they'll go on blades and fall. Yep. And so we found that, you know, it's working some big trilogies. I mean, last year you caught a 49 incher doing that. We're working slow rolling a, a big trilogy. And um, that fish came ripping up in the eight. So yep. when most people were out dragging suckers. Yeah, we saw a bunch of people were on suckers and we were throwing blades and had fish come after us. Yep. So, glide baits. Glide baits. I really like glide baits. They're fun. They're fun. And you know, glide baits really perform well in that 50 to 60 degree water temp. Yeah. Here we have a twisted sucker. Yep. This is a really nice color. It's kind of a green with a gold tail. That thing almost turns right on its own yeah. axis. It's pretty cool. You just twitch, twitch, Yep. pause. Then we have a shum shum here in bass color. Yep. <laughs> Chaos Tackle. Yep. I really like these shum shums and the <laughs> and the mini tap dancers. Yep. This is a phantom. I've had experience with this one. Caught plenty of fish on Caught that one. Caught plenty of fish on this one. Yep. And you get into top water. I mean in the top water here. Yeah. There is a time and a place, especially in you know, we're we're low sixties right now. And like I said, you caught one on that flap tail off to the right there this morning. Yep. And um, that thing just crushed it. It was pouring rain too. First cast with We didn't it have too. much cameras out, but we got it. <laughs> it was a beautiful fish. And then uh, you walk the dog is the Suic Weagle. Oh yeah. They make a great Weagle. If you haven't tried a Suic Weagle, you need to. They yeah. really work nice. They're like... I don't know. They're just amazing. Yep. Good side-to-side -side action on them. And we also have a hog wobbler here. This is a husky hog wobbler. Yep. I like the husky size. To me, that's one of my favorite size. Um, I mean, we catch them on the smaller size, too. It's a little slower, but huskies are kind of my favorite, too. Yep. What do you got going for rubber? What's rubber. Your, what, what's your favorite in the fall? So um, I don't have a you know a double dog is another one that I that I like in the fall I don't have in the boat with me right now. No. Nope. But uh, Musky Innovations double dog with the two tails really has a slow fall. Um, it, it it really works good. There's another bait that I don't have in the boat right now is you know a Lake X uh, a Lake X um, toad um, in shallow. Yeah. In the shallow version and that's got a nice hang alongside the boat. We've caught a lot of fish on that. Um, but, you know, the other one is the, you know, the husky medusa. The husky medusa. This is the shallow one. So, again, it has it's got that hang. little. It's got that little. You can always tell a husky because it's got that little hole in the top fin. You know, you could tell if it's shallow because it's got the hole. Yep. And yep. Then... Exactly. And these things really hang. I mean, you, you want to bait. You're going to rip in, rip in, rip in. And, you know, I mean, kind of rip in slow. You don't really yeah. have to do any power ripping. But you want it to just hang. Yes. And, and that bait will just hang on the corner and they'll come up and eat it. It'll just rip, just yep. slow fall. They love to be opportunistic in uh, in October. So you got a red October bait there. Yeah. Red October tube. You and I have done real well in, oh, in yeah. mid to late October on those. Um, again, hang them on the corners and it's a great bait for that. Yep, I've had them eat a lot of times in the last three feet from the boat with these tubes. And then the last rubber bait we have is a dog. Regular mag dog. Yep. Yep. And we don't have the double dog, but this, again, it has that head falling action, just like this. Beaver falls straight down, rip up, and just slow fall straight down. Some of the most underrated fall baits are swim baits, because I like to run these things really slow, and these are Poseidons. I love just running Poseidons. They run super slow. You can run, you can run them at any speed you want. Rip them up in the corner, just yep. let them hang. These things are great. Their tail wobbles. Just great baits. It's October, and another favorite bait that we like to use in October is a sucker. Suckers. <laughs> Tell you how we rig suckers, and uh, this this has been very successful to us. So first of all, um, 
we use two different rod, two different times of rod, rods. These are, um, they're, they're, I got a nine foot heavy trolling rod. It's a trolling sucker rod. Um, it's by a salt stick by Chaos. I also got some Elk River muskies trolling rods and they work really great too. Eight foot to nine foot. And I like the nine foot sometimes when, you, when you're especially having the down rods when you're really sticking out from the side of the boat. It kind of gets your, that extra foot makes a big difference. And these are rods, these are rods that, that um, you know, you can see by the bend, they got a lot of power, yet a lot of backbone, yet that softer tip just like this. So if you got that fish fighting, that you're not going to lose them. You know what I mean? You gotta you can't have a super stiff pole in sucker fishing. You gotta have a, a pole that's got a little bit of a bend to it. And so that's why I like these. Um, they're fiberglass poles and um, or composites and stuff, and they they just work really good. You don't need to spend a lot of money on sucker on sucker rods. Um, so cat bigger heavy cat fishing poles that work really good too. So uh, one of the one of the rigs that uh, I make, the Smith rig, that is. Um, all tangled at this moment. One of the rigs that I make is a, is a clip-on style. This goes through the nostril of the sucker and um, then I use, I tee the hook off and I use a safety pin in here. I want that, I want the rig to pop off the sucker quickly and then I run out, I stagger the, the hooks on either side. And this, this rig has been very good to us. Um, sometimes these clips are the Clips will break every once in a while on those, but you know they're a pretty inexpensive rig that um, has been very successful. I mean, it's to the point like 99% hookup. So um, they're made with seven strand wire, 130 pound, and um, I can show in a later video how to make those someday. But uh, right now, I'm going to show you how we how we rig them up. Yeah, comment down below if you want us to show you how to make them. Yep. So we take a sucker, and you and you. Put it right through his nostril just like that so you get that that is holding on just right there i got a 150 pound uh fluorocarbon leader on there a lot of times i use seven strand um so i take back like this and then the first one i put is going to be kind of high shoulder over here so I'll, I'll take this little safety pin and i'll scratch away a few sucker scales and I'll stick that just under the skin a little bit, like about a half inch, just like that. And then I stick it, pin in just like that. And you see how that's gonna, that's just gonna pop that skin off right there. And this, this rig is gonna slide right into the muskie's mouth. So then I switch over to the other side and I go back, back corner. So the fish, Either way he eats it, he gets at least one hook. Yeah, we've often had where even one in each corner of the muskie's mouth before. And um, just like that. And she's all rigged to go, ready to pop. And um, then we'll run this. We're going to be working a shoreline. We're going to put it down like four or five feet down. The nice thing with the down rods is, is you can adjust on the fly. If you got a bobber, which is good, I've caught we catch plenty of fish on bobbers. But if you if you have a down rod like straight out from the side of the boat, one your followers in from your baits catch that a lot easier, and secondly, you're you you don't have to deal with that bobber or having anything on it, and it works really good. So um, I, we catch majority of our fish on down rods. Although I do run so I'll, so on a typical day of running suckers, I'll run one bobber back, and I'll run like two down rods. And because we can run three lines per person in Wisconsin, so I like to run three suckers. It's the, that seems to work the best. But uh, you don't get as many tangles. Yep. This is our first day in October of running suckers, so we're gonna run this one. What are you gonna call him? What's his name? Um, Jeremy. Jeremy. Okay. Whatever that for. <laughs> we'll see if Jeremy can get eaten. So here goes Jeremy. Hope you get eaten. Do a good job. So like I said, you, you run the line counter out like this. And this is what's nice about these down rods, because you with a line counter, you can make these little adjustments. So we're gonna run this fish down five feet, right off the side. If we get to a deeper area, maybe we'll run them down about eight. You know what I mean? You can constantly adjust compared to a bobber, where you got it fixed at like 
three or four feet or down. So there's a there's a there's pluses on both of them. So Just like that. So when we raise a fish in on our baits, he's gonna eat the sucker, hopefully, or eat our baits. One of the two. It's all good. These are some of our fall favorites, and guys. Comment down below if you guys can get out this uh, this fall. Because I'd be interested to read the comments if you guys catch any big fish or anything on these baits that we just told you about. And we're still on the road to 2,000 subscribers. So if you can hit that subscribe button, go check out another video. If you can win a rod, as soon as we hit 2,000 subscribers, we're going to give away that rod. And we'll see you on the next adventure. <laughs>